and they all lived happily ever after. Kind of unusual to be starting off with this, isn't it? Happily ever after is a way to end stuff. A really, really, really commonly used way, especially to end children's movies and stories and so on. But what we don't realize about it is that us being so used to it actually negatively affects us. Why? Because it leads to toxic positivity. What is toxic positivity though? First, let's define it. Toxic positivity is dismissing negative emotions and responding to distress with false reassurances rather than empathy. If somebody you knew was going through a really tough time and you comforted them using phrases such as everything will be all right, everything happens for a reason, or always look at the bright side, then you've promoted toxic positivity. Have you ever heard, of course this talk, of course this interaction does not necessarily have to be between two people. The concept would remain the same if you are doing that to yourself. Have you ever heard about the frozen girl? Not Elsa, but a girl who got frozen in time. Dorothy is a 27-year-old woman. She's an engineer. She got married at 22, and a year later, at 23, she found out that she was infertile, as in she couldn't have children. She was never upset about it, not because she was fine with it, but because she never believed it. She kept on denying it. She thought, this could never be the way it ends. This was never the way I pictured it. Everything always ends well. Everything always ends the way it's supposed to. She got frozen, stuck in time, not moving on for the next three years. She regularly went to hospitals, doing tests, trying to prove that they were wrong. She gave up eventually though, but that didn't turn out well for her either as she fell into depression. She says, I still feel stuck at 23, because ever since then I've been living only for the false hope of it all. I really wish I could go back and restore all the time I've lost. The fact that Dorothy has spent that many years in denial, dismissing her negative emotions with false reassurances, is toxic positivity. Growing up with an all's well that ends well belief being dug deep in you repeatedly by almost all media makes it unsurprising when it becomes difficult for you to believe or accept it when your life doesn't end up matching those ideal expectations, leading to denial that could cause a person to be stuck in time like Dorothea. If you've never heard of unhappy endings, how are you supposed to believe in them? I think, and according to ABC News, if the media had more diverse storylines, specifically towards the endings, children wouldn't be devastated if they grew up without achieving the ideal lifestyle, because they'd have learned that there isn't one. They'd learn to recognize and accept their negative emotions instead of ignoring them, and by that, they'd be far from toxic positivity. And who knows, maybe that stability and acceptance alone could be the cause behind their actual happy endings, ones that they defined themselves and weren't set for them. And if it didn't, it wouldn't be as emotionally shocking as it would be right now because they'd have seen storylines that relate to their situation somehow. Not all of us will go from frogs to princesses, and that's okay.